Howdy caddies, weekly walkabout time at the collector. Toys, books and ephemera auction this week. And how's that for a toy and a book? X-Men number one, 1963. It's complete, all interior pages are intact. Paper pages are off-white, staples good. There's marble chipping to the edge of the cover. And it's graded around about four to five. Good thing. I think it's also going to be the what's it worth in this week's auction, so it'll be interesting to see what it sells for. Great bit. Got heaps of other cool toys this week. There you go. Little kingly critter with his four-pointed crown on the top. Vintage lilac one. And there's a purple one in that bag. Uh, Donkey Kong twin screen game. The screen's bled a little bit, which is a shame. Old tin types. More cereal toys over the back. Lifesavers. Uh, sort of pencil case. Little micro model looks like a little Holden Ute. A little cereal toy flickering over the back as well. What else we got? The great Australian game Trapping Rabbits. Really cool little box game there. Old photo cards. Lovely propelling pencils. Postcards. These are all cool like whistles and kazoos and stuff. More photo cards. Um, Beatles badges. A couple of fob watches. This is cool. Little uh, AAF. Uh, trench art, P38 Lightning, aluminium, cool little thing. All right, what else have we got? Nest of four oriental tables, little corner cabinet, hall stands nice. Got the cool Epiphone electric guitar, nice big sort of modern sideboard, mid century sort of style. Here's a nice little uh, camphor wood trunk. Two boxes full of bloody Humphrey the Bear. Big lot of tools over the back as well. Two volume set, Victoria and its Metropolis, but it is in poor condition, as you can see. It's a bit of a shame. The two volumes are there, but yeah, it's in very average condition. Nice box of vintage Lego. There you go, and some modern stuff. Little Harry Potter bloody dog or something in there as well. Atari gear, including an Activision prototype game cartridge. Big lot of vintage Masters of the Universe, Beast Man and Skeletor, Man at Arms, that guy's Hordak or something, some bloody B bloke, don't know his name, Ram Man, some cool gear in there, boxes of die casts, little golden books, sports, for using cricket bats and stuff, and a lacrosse stick, big box of toys, there's some cool soft toys. Pound puppies and Garfields and um, Bugs Bunnies and stuff. A couple of nice old sewing machines. Big lot of toy cars. Four boxes of sort of action figures and stuff. Some nice old annuals and books. Uh, more boxes. Groups, three boxes here. A little box of toy soldiers, some dolls. Big lot of die casts here as well. They're all sort of farm animals and dinosaurs. These are all sort of Tonka toys and stuff like that at the top, all the pressed steel ones. And so we've got three boxes of cool old kids' annuals and books. Big box of, or suitcase of Cabbage Patch Kids. Some of them are sort of animal shaped. There you go. Two boxes of sort of package toys. And Ganesh and a loom. Three boxes, well, about five boxes of Beanie Babies and soft toys and things like that under there. Big lot of dolls prams, that's one of them. Heaps of dolls prams underneath the table. Sort of wooden toys. Some of these are great. Oh, whistle doesn't work too good. Uh, Olivetti Laterra 32 typewriter. Nintendo game cartridges. Nice first edition book with its dust jacket. Little Noddy. Used to squeak. Serial toys. This is some cool old sort of magnetic game. About 1900, give or take. Nice little novelty clock. Postcards and a map from the Melbourne Olympics, I think. Good little lot of fishing gear. If we got, there's more of the prams. A really nice old kitchen table. Kind of like the fact that the drawer's off to that one side. With a little nice little set of six chairs to go with it. Singer sewing machine's nice. Occasional furniture. And so we've got some Warhammer stuff. Big bloody remote control crane. He's a ripper. Three boxes with heaps of sort of McDonald's toys and packaging. 
little Happy Meal sort of packets and stuff like that. And there's heaps of packaging and stuff down the bottom as well. These placemats are cool. <laughs> McKellar Gorilla. They make good mouse pads, actually, for your computer. Uh, big box of modern comics. Tools and blokey gear. Some pictures. It's a lovely old suitcase with all sorts of gear inside. Doll's house. Uh, looking pretty comfy on the couch. Big cool trunk with all sorts of skateboards and sort of other toys and stuff in there. Dolls, tins. These are all action figures and stuff. You got Transformers. You got the Planet of the Apes carriage there with the astronaut inside. That's Robotech Zentradi powered armor or something, I think. There you go. You got some 118 scale die cast. We've got a lot of them in the sale. These are all cool Euro sports cars. Little two boxes of die cast, caterpillar excavating sort of excavator. Yeah. Right, what else? More toy die casts, more 118 scale Barago, another sort of mate stow, another brand Ferraris. Nice little lot of books. Tonkers, little forklift is cool. Big lot of dolls and stuff down the back. Big Lego Ninjago banners cool. Big group lots of sort of signs and DVDs. Little pipe cleaner, funny little sort of toys. What else have we got? More 118 scale Euro sort of sports cars. Wind toy and a Wizzo, Australian tin toys. Some more sports cars. Tin toys, box die cast trucks. More sports cars. I think there's like three or four in each lot of them. Sort of mixed group lot with Playboys and stuff. More three of these. This is some Ford experimental thing. Nice little lot at the top there with four of them. Lexuses and Mercedes and Beamers. A couple more Tonkas. Some good box Lego. A funny little sort of vintage rubber sort of kids toys. Heaps of trading cards. Meccano and other sort of tin toys. Hornby train. Nice big lot of sort of metal garden gear. The big washing copper's pretty cool on its original stand. Occasional sort of furniture, modern sort of stuff, nice hall tables and gear. It's a lovely big chest of drawers, big empire style thing. More furniture, a teepee. <laughs> it's fantastic with all the sort of cowboy theme print all over it. It's got the original base, all the poles and stuff are cool. He's a ripper. Lovely old book as well. Gets an old atlas, picture atlas of Australasia. There you go. Volume 3, 1886, it was published. Lovely big thing. What else have we got? <sighs> Nintendo Entertainment System, but this is the Mattel version. There you go, with all the gear to go with it. You've got a Humphrey nursery lamp and a Humphrey Netty rubber figure. First edition Neville Shoot and other Aussie books. There you go, nice set of four 118 scale EH Holdens, all differing in colours. Tonka Toys. Some nice paintings and stuff this week. It's a lovely one. Suzanne Millet. Lovely watercolour there of possum. These are really nice. Little William Vickery Heard kids book illustrations these would have been. Not sure what book they're out of. But it's nice the way he's painted, painted them out as well. Shame there's a little bit of foxing and stuff on them. It's a really cool old black and white photograph of a Blairow a monoplane. It's got some markings on the back. Nothing on the front to tell us much, but it's bloody old. Um, Granddad George took this photo, Sydney. There you go, that's what it says in the frame. Quite an interesting bit, that. About 1915, give or take, we think. Lovely watercolour. This is pretty cool. A Coca-Cola truck attack poster. And this lovely little photograph's nice as well, actually. Like instant relatives. Photograph, it's all been hand-coloured. Really nice thing. All right, spooky sort of Halloween toys, little box of sort of funny little cute little sort of 70s rubber dolls and stuff. You know, little cute cheeky winky faces and stuff. Big space hopper that works. I tested it the other day. <laughs> we couldn't figure out what these things were. Lotto checkers, like little templates or something to put over the Tats Lotto results in the newspaper to check quickly if you won. Something like that. Uh, Thomas the Tank Engines, 
Corgi toys. This is a cool lot of vintage Star Wars men and their weapons. All right, Walrus Man. I don't know. Other dudes. Leia. Han. Chief Chirper. Cool box of vintage Master of the Universe as well. A lot of these have got their weapons and their sort of chest armor. A little lot of Metoy, little farm tractor set. Garfield phone, Cabbage Patch Kids. Muppet Babies. They look all original. And they're little sort of ride on cars and everything. Uh, Oz Pottery, Bendigo, David Williams. Nice Lego Technic set over the back. A couple of cool uh, 118 scale French cars, a Citroen and a Renault. And also we've got some more blokey sort of stuff, a Gundam model kit, more toys, a couple of old skaties. These are cool other action figures. These are sort of rip-offs of Masters of the Universe, these guys. It's a bit like Sylvester Stallone, that one. But there's other gear in there as well, heaps of Ninja Turtle stuff. But these little wrestler dudes are kind of pretty cool, or little copies of the Masters of the Universe. And also we've got Corgi toys, more box toys, some Troll dolls. A couple of US presidential limousines, some box Lego sort of bits and bobs, a Mustang, a little Alfa Romeo as a ripper, a big nylon tow truck, a couple of good Australian kids books, bad news too, the drag car. There you go, you can see the engine and stuff in there, really cool detail and everything on it. It's got the wheelie bars on the back. These good little ML toys, Tiger, a couple of nice tin toys, a Tonka, and I think the other one over the back's a Clover one. Big, huge Humphrey B. Bear. He's got no pants, but he's wearing a bandana, so he's cool. Point of sale stuff. Tin signs. A couple of nice Tonka toys. The mobile clam crane and the nice little Pepsi Cola delivery truck. Cool box Lego creator set. Uh, torpedo boat. He's nice. A little Toyota S2000 or something, or 2000 GT sports car. Got a little lot of die cars. You've got some AT vans in there and Pepsi Cola trucks. Little English convertible sports cars, an Aston Healey and a MG. You got two more there, an E-Type and an MG. These are cool, all Ford GT uh, Falcons. Cool little animated clock. Nice golden syrup tin. Remote control sort of battery operated construction toys. Good lot of ephemera. Two more big Tonka crane trucks. Buses, tin toys. Funny little lot of sort of squeaky. Oh. There you go, Squeaky Toys, Barney Rubble, Tweety Bird, some other funny little things as well. Uh, Horn BHO gauge stuff. Cool old Snoopy colour form set over the back with a little Fisher Price clock. A couple of Studi Bakers. This is cool advertising ephemera. There's a packaged Rosel, Rosella jigsaw puzzle in there. That's the original Birdie Beetle. You can't eat that one though. There's cool stuff in that little bag. Magic Lantern with some slides. Epoch book game series drive technique. It's pretty cool little works. Two more presidential limousines for GT40. Nice old doll. That's in 260Z. Got a couple of little bubble cars, a little BMW i Setta, and a Go Go Mobile. Footy cards and stickers and stuff. A Vuli um, family treehouse. Really cool clock. Really like that with a little sort of pendulum. It was working a minute ago. There you go, the pendulum goes and his eyes go. <laughs> big Tonka truck. Big box lot of Lego. Some good packaged toys. 1989, I think. Hot Wheels. Little box like remote control cars and stuff in there. Really funny um, string puppet, the Banjo Man. There you go, the ma marionette. Some funny little wooden toys, plus pan uh, Paddington Bear. More box die casts. Star Wars stuff, including the foil card set. Cigar cutter and a lovely carved cigar hold, holder. Super Mario Brothers, the board game. Carmen Gear, Citroen DS. Looks like a Ferrari Dino. They're all individual lots. Um, radio uh, QSL cards and some other gear is in that lot. Paint box, nice big Tonka. Um, Vic Rail Train, Ford GT. Ford XR GT, with a lot there of tin toys and stuff. These are cool, all the sort of stacking blocks. Ted's peanut tin, but it's a bit unusual that it's upside down. The lid comes off on the base. Boxed car, some trucks. Die casts, basket of fruit. Big lot of trucks and the little tin toy fired trucks, a separate lot. 
Uh, Boomeroo, nice big Glen Valley T tin. Two Matchbox Super Kings. These are all individual lots. The GT Falcons, Holden FJ, Holden FC. Nice little lot of art glass. The remote control yapping dog that works. Tommy Tennis Game, FJ Holden. It's a cool little Holden Gemini Coupe, which is actually an Opal something or other. It's got it on the base. Cool thing, though. Some uh, military ephemera. I think there's some Japanese propaganda um, leaflets. A little bear golfer that looks to be complete. It's just missing the netting off the back. You can see where a little bit was, but everything's in there. We've got, apparently that's rare. And we've got another one. <laughs> <laughs> but he's a good little toy. Little boxed um, remote control pussycat. Two shell sort of road train tanker trucks. More radio ephemera over the back. More Ford Falcon. And he's a cool little Ford Capri. Datsun, Razawati T. Another Falcon GT, 118 scale. Can't remember the brands. It's either Auto Art or Bianti or one of those. Uh, the Collie Dog over the back that works. A couple of nice big trucks. Another Falcon GT. Cool old FC Holden taxi cab. There's some nice bits of ephemera over the back pertaining to Maxwell Howden. He was the first uh, radio, wireless radio operator to send a transmission that got received over in England and in America in the 1920s. And this would have been the illustration done for the Listener In magazine when he actually made his first transmission. Telling the world. Really cool thing. And there's a nice certificate to go with it as well. Nice bit of art glass. More cute little sort of Japanese, sort of Hong Kong 1970s sort of little rubber toys. The big one over the back. I've never seen one that big. But they're all kind of quite cute. And their bloody shorts and pants and stuff have half fallen down. Good little group. It's a lovely old AM doll, I think, from memory. There you go. The Magnavox Odyssey 100 TV computer sort of console game. I think that was out before Atari. That was it. It's pretty much brand spanking new in its box now all of these are individuals you've got monaros you've got charges you've got bananas tiranas paces all right l34s superbird falcon all right gtr xu1 so all individual lots all 118 scale and these are going to be the same the ford cobra all right gts the sandman penny Charger over the back, another XU1. All right, they're all pretty cool. Now we've got Scarface in his big caddy. <laughs> Fantastic old leaflet. Weber and Rice's Health and Strength College Souvenir Program Health and Strength Demonstration Melbourne Town Hall 1929. The Indian Motorbike's cool. Ford Falcon GT HO Phase 3 with the certificate there from Auto Art. There's a little bear golfer again. He's complete. You've got a 12-inch R2-D2. He's only about 6 inches. <laughs> Great Metoy pool tank, ting toy tanker truck. And this is fantastic. Little Japanese battery-operated smoking and reading bear. He all works. He is fantastic. There you go, guys. That'll do. There's heaps of cool stuff to sell this week. Looks like a bloody car yard there, doesn't it? Anyway... Hopefully we see you on Thursday night. Should be a good sale.